Yo, what's going on everyone, JessHD here, and today I'm bringing you the long-awaited custom title and emblem tutorial. Now, in the description of the video, there's going to be a link to download this little pack that I've made. Now, in this pack, we have got uh, all the titles blank without the uh, text on, so you can customize them, all of them down here. And then we've also got uh, all of the emblems, if you choose to use them. Um, we've also got the prestige icons for you to uh, use on the template I've made and it's also got the fonts you need for the text so you need to install the fonts simply by right clicking on the font and clicking install now the Photoshop template is what you're going to edit to get the custom title and emblem now when you open it you're going to get this now you're going to have all these folders here now if you just click the arrow next to the folder that will open it up and as you can see we've got player name here and you can just edit that to whatever you want so your name here I'm just going to be boring um, and then we've also got the title text here which you can also edit so as you can see whatever I want and then we've also got the title background and I've just added in the commander and uh, general one but the way to do this is simply to go into the titles and say I want this one here just drag it into your Photoshop like so, then drag it over onto the like title of this composition thingy and just simply drag it to where it should be uh, like that then you'll have to adjust the uh, text to make it fit and that is simply it for the uh, title background now we've also got the prestige icons and I've added in the ninth and seventh one here but like with the title you can add in whatever prestige you want from the pack where I've got all the prestiges and uh, finally we've got the uh, rank number which you can change if the person with the kill cam isn't rank 70 and uh, that is basically it so what you want to do is file save as and uh, what you want to do is make sure you save it as a PNG and that way uh, it will be transparent uh, around the, uh, the call sign bit and then what you want to do is import it into your video editing software so this could be Sony Vegas or After Effects. I'm just going to be showing you how to use it in Sony Vegas. Um, so yeah, so I've got my clip just here, which I'm going to import. Now, what I'm going to do is insert a new video track and just drag on the title that I saved. As you can see, there it is. So what I need to do is go to the start of the game winning kill, wherever it is. Okay, as you can see it's there. I'm just going to drag this over like that and just drag it out. And now as you can see in my preview it's a little bit too um, low, the uh, one we've made. So I'm just going to adjust it by going on the event pan and crop. And uh, all you need to do is just move it up like so. Now what we need to do actually at the start we need to keyframe uh, the title to come in. Basically what happens is the uh, title flies in at the start. Uh, if I just show you this. Um, if I just hide this layer. If I just go along this. I can see the title flies in. So what we need to do is just keyframe our title that we've added in to fly in like that. Which is just there. So I'm going to go on my event pan and crop and just move my marker to where my timer is now like so and then I'm going to go to the start and I'm just going to move this completely down like so so now if we go through this you can see the title, the call sign comes up at exactly the same time which is how we want it now in my preview I showed um, you saw that how we got the spinning logo well that was actually done in Cinema 4D which I'm going to save for another tutorial um, just simply showing you how to make things spin in Cinema 4D um, so what you can always do is just in, on your Photoshop you can just add any icon you want in or simply just use one of the emblems uh, I've supplied or you can just use your own picture instead and uh, that is the uh, tutorial on how to do it so yeah if you could leave a like if you found this tutorial helpful as I managed to get over 300 likes on the preview of this so if we could top 300 likes on this that would be amazing and the spinning logo tutorial should be out in the next couple of days so keep your eyes out for that so yeah, if you're new around here make sure you subscribe for more 
and just thank you for watching if you've got any problems leave it as a comment below and uh, I'll get back to you so yeah thank you for watching guys if you could leave a like that'd be great as it really does help me out and subscribe if you hadn't already so yeah this has been JSHD and I'm out peace